Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become a certified software professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. In this lecture, we're going to talk about how we can use gauge tables. In the first lecture, we said that we can define the band radius by asking manufacturer. We can Google online for a specific thickness what is the band radius, or we can use gauge tables. So what is the gauge table? Gauge table is Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, which enables you to choose an appropriate sheet metal thickness based on the material and gauge numbers. So in other words, gauge table contains predefined metal thicknesses and bending details that go along with them. In most of the world, the sheet metal thickness is specified in millimeters. Only in the USA, the gauge table is used as a measure to define the thickness. So let's go here to the sheet metal feature. Let's go here to the edit feature. So here we can define the bent radius and here we can define the thickness manually. But as well, if we go here, here we have our option sheet metal gauges. So we can check here, use gauge table. Now here we have to select our table. So we can click here and here we have few tables. For example, let's go here with sample table aluminum. And now down here we have a sheet metal parameters. As you can see here we have aluminum coining. Let's go down. Here we have the gauge number. We can click here and here we have a few gauge numbers from 10, 12, 14 up to 26. So what is the gauge number? A gauge number is a way of measuring a thickness of the sheet metal. A gauge number refers to the standard thickness of a sheet metal and typically is in a range from 3 to 38. And the higher the number, the thinner will be the sheet metal thickness. So here we have the gauge 10 and we can see the thickness here 3 millimeters. Let's go with gauge 80. We can see the thickness now decreases to 1.2 millimeters. If we go here to 26, now the thickness is 0.5 millimeters. So for a specific gauges, we have a different thicknesses. As well, for a specific gauges, we have different band radii. So for example, for gauge 16, we have a thickness 1.5. And here we have few options for the band radii. We have 1.5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 10. If I select here gauge 20, then I have a thickness here 0 0.9, and here bent ready, I have an option 1, 1 1.5, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know, for example, I can select here bent ready 4. So here we have a thickness 0 0.9 millimeters, and here we have a bent radius 4 millimeters. Let's click OK, and let's try to measure this. So let's go to evaluate, measure, let's get closer, let's select this edge here. So here we have the radius 4 millimeters, let's clear this and let's select this edge here. And here we have a thickness 0.9 millimeters, as you can see. So this is another way how you can define the bent radius and the thickness. Now if you go here to the base flange, edit feature. Here you can see that here we have 0.9 and 4 millimeters. As well, you can override this and you can change this to some other number. But we don't want that. Let's uncheck. Now, as we said, the gauge table is a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Where you can find that Microsoft Excel spreadsheet? So if we open here the sheet metal feature, here you can select the gauge table among those options here or you can browse some other gauge table here, browse. Now let's show where you can find those gauge tables. So let's go to our PC. Let's go here to the disk where we have installed the SOLIDWORKS, like this. Now let's go here to the view and let's go here hidden folders, like this. Let's go here to program data, this one, SOLIDWORKS Corporation, SOLIDWORKS, language let's go to english and here we have sheet metal gauge tables so we have used here sample table aluminium this one here let's open this so this is our gauge table as you can see type aluminium 
process aluminum coining unit millimeters so here we have gauge numbers from 10 to 26 as we saw it in our SOLIDWORKS and here for a specific gauge number we have specific thickness and a specific available bent radius as you can see so in our example here we have gauge 20 0.9 millimeters thickness we can check here 20.9 and available radii 1 1.5 2 3 4 5 let's open here and here we have 1 1.5 2 3 4 5 as we see so here you can find your gauge tables now let's go back to the SOLIDWORKS like this so here we have our gauge table gauge number thickness and the bent radius as well you can override the thickness you can check here and you can change the thickness as well you can override the radius so you can go here override radius like this so using gauge table is just another way how you can define the thickness and the bent radius of your sheet metal component but what is the problem with the gauge tables the problem is that some gauge numbers gives you different thicknesses for different material so gauge numbers are specific to the materials as well selection of gauge table limits the choice that the designer have for defining the sheet metal thickness and the bent radius based on the availability but you can always override the thickness and the bent radius as you can see here as i said previously gauge tables are mostly used in the u.s but the international standard organization is not recommended to use gauge tables and in this course we won't use gauge tables we just show how you can use it for defining the thickness and the bent radius in the next lecture we're going to show the next parameter that we can define here and that is bent allowance hey my name is alan thank you for watching this lecture please like and subscribe if you like the video if you want to become a solidworks professional if you want to earn a solidworks official certificate then you have to pass solidworks certificate exam this can help you to get a better job, to negotiate a better salary, and to accelerate your career. In order to earn SOLIDWORKS certificate, you have to pass the exams. I have a courses that can prepare you for the exams. I have enrolled over 30,000 students. The rating I have for a professional exam is 4.9. I have preparation for SOLIDWORKS professional, finite element analysis, surface, sheet metal, and drawings. In courses, you will find all of the tools explained, you will find exercises, examples, and samples exam, the similar one you can find on the real exam. Right now, I have a special offer, and this is if you buy one course for $10, you will get one course for free that you want. As well, if you refer any course to someone else, you can earn 50% per course. This way, you can make passive income. So if you want to get solver certifications, and you want to prepare for those exams, click the link below, check my website, and like and subscribe this video.